And I played it that time, I just suck at the game shot at the same time. Who's lit? They're right. That's the that flash mid. Running gate, running gate. One more building. You. Why can't I hit shots like that? They, they are out. Uh huh, I'll tank the nade. You get shot. Ah, I'm short. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is fine because you got gun advantage. You can test mid. You blast that dude into Narnia with your flash. It's lit. Okay. They, they are Coming out, you stop them. Okay. Right here. Freeze frame. Should we go here? We could consider nading. I don't think we have to. You get shot. And you just throw. You walk right into Sharon. Ah, I'm short. And now the round went from 90% conversion to 65. That's a lot of EFX. And you don't even have to be aware is the thing. Should you have been aware that they could be lurking up catwalk? Yeah, I guess. But it's not about that. It's about for V2. You don't want to contest space in this scenario. You want to control it. And what's the best way to control tree safely from back here? It's that simple. We don't need to take space at this point. Taking space is disadvantageous in Valorant uh, with everything else equal. Taking space generally is riskier than controlling it. You know that to be true. And controlling it, you have a big advantage, which is why, like, if you had five A and they had five attacking A, who's winning? On average, the, the five who get to control it. That's why retake practice is usually done down a man. Like, the people who've planted the bomb will have four and the retakers will have five because it's harder to take space than it is to control space. So here, you don't need to take any space. You've got sufficient space. So don't you don't think of it as, oh, I should have expected him up tree. Think, why the hell am I trying to take more space there? That was greedy. And that way, you don't even need to have the right read. You don't have to be so in tune with all of the actions of your opponents. You just have to think, do I need to take space right now? No, no, we're chilling. Just control. So don't take space when you don't have to. Do you, do you have to take mid? No, no shot. 4v2. Ah, I'm short. Holy shit. Look how loose the bullet you've got. One other one light. Good thing you got that's on your team. Look what Nas is doing. Watch. Heaven and buff. One other one light. He's like controlling. He's using his info. And because he's controlling space and these guys have to take space, they feel pressured into taking space, they're getting shit on. Nice. Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win! We've all been there. But thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, Defenders but win! But you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement, all live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash woohoojin, or I'm taking the world to pipe. Don't try me. I'll do it. gonna review a fake anonymous vod different from pro analysis chat i'm assuming we have the mini map here we do have mini map okay so pro analysis i'm usually trying to just figure out how they play for you to mimic them this is gonna be different we're actually gonna try and analyze uh fake anonymous see if we can get him some elo did i give him notes i think i just told him to work on the comms i don't think he's got notes or duo with nats we got mini map and we're eating we're facing a very unique comp <laughs> okay what do they have Default comp? Yeah, we have Reyna chat. We are not Sentinel. They're gonna play mid. Same exact mine. <laughs> like, he says the Probably same exact thing I just said. Sentinel. Good start. Yeah, I don't like insta knifing. Can you defend your pistol insta knife to me on defense? I feel like on pistol, if it's. Okay. Here's my thought process. If it's low elo, they just clomp on pistol, everyone rushes. If it's high elo, full on troll, you gotta save the knife. All right, bad. We don't even have to talk about it. Lit. Like, Hello. You just throw it around for no, no reason. Bad. The logic is because this team doesn't know how we defend. Most of the time, they're gonna burn some utility to find us and figure out our defensive location. Like they'll knife, they'll drone, they'll recon, they'll molly. And it basically gives away their location for free on pistol realm and so we can like hold the knife teams also just play rushier on pistol round like they throw it away a lot oh, i like this yeah, Same -same. is the idea you're gonna fake p presence uh, uh, 
This is unfortunate. Situationally, I don't think you can do anything. Like if you break the knife, you break the dart, you probably tie. You don't have time to nade. What was the pre-round? <laughs> well, I think this is why we kind of get shit on. You trying to get signed or what? On God? Maybe play less. Because it takes hella energy to um because you know the problem, right? You know the problem is that we didn't put in the annoying amount of effort to tell these dudes what we're going to do if they rush A. And if we did tell them that, our odds of winning the round go up 5%, 10%. And we don't want to leave that on the table, trying to be the best player on the server. But it's a lot of energy. And so, like, you can't play as many games if you take that mindset into them. Like, I get that. Okay, I Stop saying. But there's no plan. We don't got one. And so, ultimately, that's, that's at this point, you've already lost because there's no good choice here like maybe you can shoot the recon but even then they're already flooding out you're gonna get tagged you're mollied off behind you there's no good play at this point you lose no matter what you do which sucks and so we the solution to this is we shouldn't be getting into this scenario and why we get into the scenario because we didn't calm pre-round uh this dart's not that crazy we know about this dart this molly's not that crazy we know about this molly was our plan if they rush a to really run out tree like this or no we just sort of it. Uh, it's okay we're just trying to figure out if he, if alex can do more okay we're trying to figure out how alex can do more and increase the odds of him winning more rounds because he already plays a billion games and he wins a billion rounds but if we can win a billion and five rounds and lose five less rounds is lit and pre-round coming more assiduously on those ecos will win us a lot more rounds is solo queue especially but also i think like at this point he's obviously individually skilled enough to be considered for like a tryout for a team he's hit rank one multiple times and so how like i'm putting myself in the the eyes of like a potential pro player because alex plays with them all the time he's duo with nats right now if you leave the impression that you're very vocal and super committed to winning every single round that's a good heckin impression as opposed to this, which is you're a normal solo queue player, but you're good at the game. And you do it with Ness. Like right now, I got no idea what we're doing. We're autopiloting. B. Hi, nice B. Yeah, yeah, could be nice. Nice. That mid. All three, all three. Holy fuck. Do you think it's better to contain or fight here? I'm curious. I want you to walk me through your thought process. So we have two options. Well, three, I guess you could leave, but that's dumb. Do you prefer the pixel or do you prefer the fight here? Because right now you're kind of between the two. Do you want contain? Okay, bet. I think you need to be tighter then. And I agree, containing's almost certainly better. Now, I think this is not it. Are you supposed to come across this way? Could be left side. But I guess they're both me. Nice and nice, it's fine. Uh, you got the man. dude. There is a fire because of the gun diff. Yo, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But you're you have um light armor. Like the round's over for sure. I think I'd rather contain like you're doing. I mean, so you're holding like this. I see no reason why we can't hold like this. It's like so tiny, but why wouldn't we be tighter for containing? And I'm down for the flash, but I think you come around this way. And don't you just spot? They're coming through spawn at this point because your your other dude's coming out mid. And you can come this way to play with them. And if they're all running A, you just, just fall back. Because you want to play five guns. If they're coming mid, you fight with Silva 100% because they're dumb and you kill them. For sure. But I don't think you want to give the 1v1 engagement at any point. These guys just five stack, huh? That was their bonus, though. Enough eating. Fuck you. Fuck your foot. <laughs> Enough eating. <laughs> all right. He's online. You got heavy armor here? Didn't you save light armor? No, you lost your light armor. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's see. It might be better to go light and think about. Like, if you're on light, you've got 3,000 creds. You can buy for two next round. These guys can all buy next round, but this guy can't. What are you doing? Uh, scrambled eggs with cheese. Look, they are oh, out. shit. I want some. Maybe. They shouldn't. We have no sentinel. I don't know. They have arrow for mid. Nice. They're for mid. Okay, so they're taking mid control. They have mid control for sure. The knife came from 
here they've got killjoy turret i'm just worried if you come across you're really susceptible to ko flash and omen near sight and i feel like you get hard cleared here anyways nice. oh the omen's dead it's lit come in lit list but you see where omen was standing i think he was getting ready to do that shit. i'll flash high stones wait no 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 need, no need. I, I smoked metal, so you're okay, okay yeah yeah this is macro okay the current accepted game theory on ascent uh let's draw this guy back on and let's pretend our rata is a normal human okay so mid is considered to be not neutral uh let me i'm gonna valor plant real quick and i'm gonna explain ascent to you uh on a very high level so i'm gonna use colors here where green is gonna indicate like you own it like defender sided yellow is gonna indicate neutral like anybody can fight for it red's gonna indicate they can like enemy territory and then we're gonna use um there's gonna be some unlabeled unlabeled territory we're gonna talk about that so this is obvious red this is obvious green like this this should all make sense so far of course this is this is defender territory and then we've got these are pretty neutral like if you fight for these um statistically speaking you're looking at 50 50s conversion like if everyone commits everything to fighting for them uh both teams can take them whoever can expends more utility wins these does that make sense so if they spend three agents worth of utility they're probably gonna have a main control like if they omen flash jet up draft and you only use uh one way or something then they win they get a main because they use more util uh, same idea for B man. However, mid is different. So on this map, I'm going to use white to indicate the questionable territory. While mid has like all of the qualities of neutral territory in that it's beyond both barriers and it's quite equidistant from them, mid actually is attacker sided on this map. It's not like their territory, it does not belong to them, and they better be using util to take it. However, if you exchange equal amounts of utility, the attackers win mid so for example if they use a smoke and you use a smoke the attackers have more mid control than you right now in this scenario does that make sense if they use a recon and a smoke and you use a recon and a smoke the attackers have a bit more mid control than you right now so generally the way that this is dealt with in high level gameplay is use operator because that's an advantageous weapon but when everything's equal so like you all have rifles and you've burned similar amounts of utility it's bad to contest this space on defense okay you want to contest this space only when you have some advantage in like gun or firepower so like on your anti bonus round when you came out here and took mid against them lit you've got firepower advantage i'm down it's sort of a geometry problem the reason why they have an advantage is one it's pretty easy to come out tiles and it's pretty hard to come out cat just geometrically they have an easier time and they can peek from two sides and while so can you sort of i guess it's a much easier shot for them and they could even come out like this they've got a lot more space to work with and two this space down here which i'm sure you've played in before is a lot weaker than top mid so when you rotate and compare the the two angles from one to another top mid has a big advantage because their cover is so much stronger and easy for them to move around while if you get caught bot mid it's actually really awkward for you to get out you need like your teammates help so if you get caught here you sort of need util or a dash or something to get out while if an enemy player gets spotted top mid they can just leave you know what i'm saying so like if a recon tags them here they can just unpeak break it if a recon tags you bot mid you have to expend utility to leave so that's why it's slightly attacker sided and that's also why it's really good on this map to one three one because the attackers want to take mid control because it favors them they get to they get to take mid and generally the defenders have to burn more utility than them to fight for it if they want to fight for it so it's good to take mid control on ascent for attack so now with that out of the way the game theory nonsense thrown yes. out if we rewind yes. at this point we're being chilling we're like being chilling we don't need mid control we've got super numbers if we just had the patience to like back up tree with our guy and just control like spot them cat however you'd like to do that i don't know i'm not the hecking radiant player and we have our old men like if they're if we're talking like pro where they're just spotting mid some, from some weird off angle we basically just let them have mid it's fine and we'll just use that information to kill them all um it's sort of like have you been watching pro pearl lately the updated defensive structure on this map has actually been like 
two take a main space like operator one actually controls rat hole back here and then two control b and they just give up this to the attackers because it's trash like the attackers either have to come out a link no thank you against flowers and a main that's not good or they have to come out b link and i knew you know that that's bad have you ever tried to retake b from b link no thank you and then the only other thing is rat hole and like they just hold it it's exactly like that right here you don't need mid and i wouldn't fight for it Two minute, let's i just give it to them i'll flash high stones and i just help no, 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 no. i probably i probably want reina to spot cat and i just get joined yet yeah and this fight is exactly no, what i was no, talking no, about no, 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 no. so you see how he can peek you from either side of tiles I flash top mid i'm so right here, do you see how your crosshair doesn't know where to where to hold? That's the issue with contesting mid here. And at this point, we've already won. So we're just trying to maximize our economy. And we get peaked on awkward timing, whatever. Look at all the util we had to burn. So like, it's lit. Nobody dies. It's the enemy economy. Bad. Okay. Last time their economy was bad. I believe they rushed um, B. So I like that we're going B side. In the middle of the game. Think you should not be throwing your knife right away against an eco round. Maybe. I'm blinded. Oh, they're B. <laughs> so, yeah, I think if you're just a bit more vocal and you say last eco, they hit B. Nas will be here sooner. Flashing now. Yeah, we're fighting for mid. So in professional games, you're rarely going to see this type of fight you're probably gonna fall back this way or even towards site and you're gonna give them market because you've got numbers and fighting for mid is really awkward this is really awkward no flash against him flashing now if you're on eco i love this i love this by the way like if they're the ones with the stronger guns and you're just trying to push your luck get a little crazy this is really good let me know my name and then go short or something yeah, so this is late. Our jet's hopping mid. And these patterns, like, this jet might not understand high-level ascent macro, but they know that op mid good, you know? And so this type of round fighting for mid control can be uh, can be effective. I think you heard one. I think they I think they I think they Upstairs. Whoa! 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 Red alert! Red alert! Ignoring the calm! I take lane. Stairs. What happened? Lane, lane. I'm on his face. I think you heard one. I think lane, I think lane, I think lane. Look stairs. Your jet says, I take lane, I take lane. Look stairs. And they're posted up with an operator on lane. He thought he said, I think lane. Ah. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, though. Let's say you do think he said that, okay? Because you probably do. Why the hell are you overpeaking your op on 5 HP? Because don't you just die for free? And then the op has to worry about the guy coming stairs later. And the 1v1 is really awkward for him. And it's like a coin flip. So if you presume he is saying lane. I want his yes. I think you heard Yeah, and you guys just both come out. This is exactly what was happening that round where you like were on anti bonus and you just cooked them by like rushing them all mid. It's like the solo queue energy is flowing through you and you just want to end the round because you're winning. You know, bombs down 2v1. We got an op. What is he hiding for? Why is he not holding stars? I have a wider angle on Kurva Link. <laughs> oh, and you misheard the calm. He told you to. Oh, he told you he had lane. What the fuck? Okay. We gotta take notes as we go. Three round. Way more. Anytime desync happens, replay buffer. Do you, do you know OPS, OBS replay buffer? It basically lets you save the past X seconds of your stream to like an MP4. I want you to press that button. When that happens, when you felt desynced with a teammate, press that button and review the clips later. And I'm sure a lot of the time it is there bad, but we need to approach it with like, how could we have done that better? Um, not necessarily calm. So how do we avoid desync? Because desync is like the, the bane of existence in the tactical shooter when everyone's good at the game. Like everyone's got good aim. Everyone's got decent comms. Everyone's trying to win. You're high enough ELO that those things are all true. And so the team that coordinates better will win. And we got to figure out why these discoordinations are happening in our games. So you should be clipping that because then you'd see that she said, I'll take lane. And I think it's pretty reasonable that you could you could have interpreted that correctly. And here's my reasoning. What type of good ass player is coming? I think lane. What type of player who's good at the game is coming that nobody. So if she's coming, I think lane, then she's trash. And so we should just trust that she's good at the game. 
I think that's like the mindset we need to take with our teammates. Because when you're trying out for a team and you're on a team with four like T ones, they expect immediate trust, no doubt whatsoever. And so that's sort of the muscle you need to build, even with your solo queue teammates, even though they're gonna suck a lot of the time. So why would a why like assume that they're all tier one professionals? Why would Nat say I think lane? Probably isn't. Probably said I take lane. Or I don't know, maybe Nat says shit comms. This is bad. One more B main. Oh, I got my solo to be list. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, wait. Why does it turn out to be good? Mid, a lot. I think if you nade tiles, I think you're doing it before Man, the Sova oh. ults, and so you get lucky. You see what I'm talking about? Your Sova has not ulted yet. And if we take the Sova ult out of the equation, then this is bad. With the Sova ult, it's really good, of course, because this recon is sick. But you didn't get this calm from the guy, so you can't be peeking out. But the moment this recon lands, any ults, then of course you're peeking out. So. Oh, I got my solo you got lucky list. there. You should not have peeked out on that timing. Give me those assists. Thank you. Ah, all Sova. Yes, yes. I thank all of them for him. He <laughs> one shot them. Fuck you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I think, I think you can have that mindset if you flashed out of the smoke after the recon and the ult. But because you flashed first, Sova kind of was the support there. I'm so done. I'm, I'm, I'm giving done. Sova I'm the props too. <laughs> No appreciation for what I do. Nope, nope. You don't get any. You have to earn the appreciation, Mr. Alex. One under left. Johnny. And under. Under. Right side, right side, right side. You can stick it. Nice. I'm gonna be that guy, Alex. I'm gonna be that guy. So this dude, when Nat starts sticking, has to come out to like stop him. Yeah. You're holding them. Isn't this angle better over here than this one? Because the uh, the dude coming out like almost certainly doesn't pre-aim this far over. I just I, I don't want to die. I want to control the space I need to control and I want to live because I like money. I'm I'm Mr. Goddamn Krabs and I like money. OK, 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 OK. Uh, I'm, I'm about to self-report myself for being weird as fuck. OK. But when I was in like high school and I was like crushing on this girl, the days where I'd like do all of the good routine stuff were the days where I'd like pretend that this girl could like see me doing my routine. And she's like, wow, he's so hecking mature. So it'd be like, I'd do my full shower, hecking, brush my teeth, dress well, do my hair up, you know, all the shit. If relatable or not, nah? I hope so. Otherwise, I'm really weird. Anyways, like what if... A T1 analyst is tuned into your stream and they see you take that fight lazily or they see you come. I'm going to PK Bane. I know I shouldn't fuck it. Flex on those analysts, dude. Take that. If the analyst sees you call jet over first and then peek and then they see you play this heckin angle against the sofa, they're going to be like, what the f this is how he approaches solo queue. How the hell is he going to play in scrims? He's a machine. Right. And then you, you, you get the team name in front of your name and then you can ego peek the piece of shit because you've scrimmed for eight hours all day and it was frustrating as heck being that focused and you want to let loose. Was there you go? Bad. Hey. Why are we 3A? All I'm remembering is last two hecka ecos. They start last three. They contest B main and they're going to smoke market off. Our op is going to cry. Our self is going to have to play for retake and we're going to have to play retake with an operator on B because we three stacked A for no reason. So couldn't we start the round like fast rotate, throw early knife or some shit? I don't know. You're the lineup guy. When I played it that time, I just suck at being shot at the same time. Who's lit? They're right. I flash mid. Running gate, running gate. One more billion. You. Why can't I hit shots like that? They're they out. Uh huh, I'll tank the nade. You get shot. Ah, I'm short. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is fine because you got gun advantage. You can test mid. You blast that dude into Narnia with your flash. It's lit. Okay. They're Coming out, you stop them. Okay. Right here. Freeze frame. Should we go here? 
we could consider nading. But I don't think we have to. You go to and you just throw. You walk right into the oh, yeah, I'm short. And now the round went from 90% conversion to 65. That's a lot of E of X. And you don't even have to be aware is the thing. Should you have been aware that they could be lurking up catwalk? Yeah, I guess. But it's not about that. It's about for V2. You don't want to contest space in this scenario. You want to control it. And what's the best way to control tree safely from back here? It's that simple. We don't need to take space at this point. Taking space is disadvantageous in Valorant uh, with everything else equal. Taking space generally is riskier than controlling it. You know that to be true. And controlling it, you have a big advantage, which is why like if you had 5A and they had five attacking A, who's winning? On average, the, the five who get to control it. That's why retake practice is usually done down a man. Like the people who've planted the bomb will have four and the retakers will have five because it's harder to take space than it is to control space. So here you don't need to take any space. You've got sufficient space. So don't you don't think of it as, oh, I should have expected him up tree. Think, why the hell am I trying to take more space there? That was greedy. And that way, you don't even need to have the right read. You don't have to be so in tune with all of the actions of your opponents. You just have to think, do I need to take space right now? No, no, we're chilling. Just control. So don't take space where you don't have to. You do you have to take mid? No, no shot. 4v2. Ah, I'm short. Holy shit. Look how loose the bullet just got. One other one light. You think you got that's on your team? Look what Nas is doing. Watch. Coming buff. One other one light. He's like controlling. He's using his info. And because he's controlling space, and these guys have to take space, they feel pressured into taking space. They're getting shit on. Nice. What's the enemy economy? Bad. Anything around, Kedrenas is, uh, is a task. Bad and they have killjoy ult. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I feel like you could be such a piece of shit this round, dude. And it'd be so cool if it hit that it's like worth it. Because one, you're like five head and two is fine. Do you ever buy Odins? Because your team has never bought one Odin this game. And killjoys, they're always thinking about this. They're thinking, do they spam it? If not, they're going to do this ult that covers everything. They've done the passive ult, but they've seen no Odins all game. If you're the piece of shit who buys Odin and plays lane this round, you're actually the most five head piece of shit. And I don't want to kiss you, you know, <laughs> because I would not be surprised if this killjoy goes for the spammable ult here to take free B site. Okay, so they do the killjoy ult. They get the pick. Unlucky. They didn't give a f now. Is this the time where I tell you you can spam that one too? <laughs> it's not tournament legal, but this ain't no tournament. <laughs> where's the where's the spam? Is it here? There's a spam that goes under this box. You would have been so fucking five head if you buy the Odin and came here. You gotta find this one. I believe you can Google it. Yep. Medium pen. Alex. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, if you did that, add this to your playbook. I want to see this. I want you clipping this. You're going to hit this. Everyone picks Killjoy and Ascent in your ELO. Do this once, please. So I feel like this is what you're lacking. The tier one analyst watching you doesn't see the guy thinking about every possible thing. They don't see the guy who's super duper duper sweating. They see the guy who's really good at Valorant having a good time. Like if you're going to say they're probably Killjoy ulting B and you go over here and use a fucking lineup for medium pen to break it. You're so try hard. It's not even funny. And that's what I want. I want them to think that you're the most try hard motherfucker to ever touch the game. You breathe Valorant. You'd heckin jump off a building and break your legs if it meant you got three more RR, you know? That's the impression I want you to give. Oh shit, is that tech? Oh, they're going back there. Oh, that's more like it. Good spam. Yeah, there's the fucking try hard. Where was that? Why is he on now? 
fanatics analyst just said, oh shit, wait, that's, we play that box all the time. Now, I hope you just set, added to your mind palace though, because I'm not sure you realize what just happened. You probably do realize you pinged it, you spammed it, and then you came to peek. And you know what these tricky motherfuckers did? They went, oh, he spammed it. So now he thinks it's clear. And they came over here. So you know what you're going to do next time on this clutch? You're going to ping it. You're going to spam it. You're going to wait three seconds. You're going to spam it again. And then you're going to flash. <laughs> they think they're so tricky, huh? Nah, these radiants, they think they're smart, but you're learning how they think. Like, that's what I want you thinking. Cause like, that's why they went to that angle, right? Like you would, might do the same thing. You might go to that angle after they spam it because they've mentally cleared it in their head. So why not spam it a second time? You got time. Don't you dare piece of shit. So right now you're already dead to like a random spam. For what, man? For what? For what? Like for what? Look at all this. Like for what? For what? You just lost a site if this Vrena didn't get it. Anti I can, I can stay on blind. KO in the smoke as well. Two, two, two. Two, KO. For what? All three. Look at Nats. How's he playing? Controlling his goddamn space. Look, he's so f good at the game. There's nothing that he's doing that you can't do. Nothing. You see why he's playing back here? He's controlling the space. And jet out, man. All three. He comes up here. This angle's so good. If they come in, it's his. He owns it. <laughs> okay. Join the jet. We got numbers. Okay. He's making noise for Sova up here. Should be under. I'm doing nice. God, he's so Beautiful. good. You gonna let him show you up? You can do that. It's a jet pick. All right. I don't know. Try to be much more mindful when we need to contest space. This is when we have enough and controlling what we have is sufficient to win. Trolling space is easier and more consistent. Let's see attack. Oh, this is sick. I was coaching a KO on this map earlier today and I told them they should buy full util for these five stack rushes on pistol because this is better. And look at you, full util on the five sack rush on pistol. Damn That's my goat. Two. Short. Nice spam, I guess. Forty on jet. Thirty six, not forty. Two, three, three. Chilling. You push with the team. You did your util. Easiest the initiator with. You got spammed from tree. I don't care. Okay, we're getting shit on by this tree. Okay. Nonsense. Why didn't we take mid control this round? Okay, I will use uh, Sova. Can you use your reveal middle? I will use smoke short. We will show them that we're doing default and we'll come. Yeah, Nas tries to turn it into a default thing. Yeah. Bridge can be even good on, on ascent, but he's not great. He's great on a couple of maps, but. All around, not the best, but he's easy to play, so. You can blind and explode. So the idea is your recon here, smoke, cat, threaten that you're walking out this way, but like we've got no B main presence because we have no killjoy. Uh, okay. Let's go. <sighs> I really think we need a genuine ace split. No flash, no flash. No flash. 60 omen. <laughs> Show the. <laughs> Shoot him in the oh, sack. Yo, yo, yes. Yo. That was a painful shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the ascent, it's so simple on ascent. You hold tab, you look at this. Can they op? Yeah. Make sure that they're not opping mid. If they're opping mid, counterintuitively, it can be really strong to push the site that they're near if they're opping mid. So for example, if they're opping bot mid, it can actually be really strong to explode B. And if they're opping cat, it can actually be really strong to explode A. That's because the op is no good at coming out of smokes and it's no good at spamming here. So it's actually really frustrating for the op if you just smoke A and run out because they basically just get to take one shot. But ultimately, you need to be playing this mini game. Figure out if they're opping, yes or no, and then make a play. If they're not opping, we need mid. Not need, of course, but we should try and take it most of the time. And if they are opping, we can give them mid depending on the amount of utility they're expending to keep the op posted up. So right now, you're not playing the game. And if. Let's see. This guy's good on Briz. They're opping. Right, 90%. Okay, let's go. 
Why would Jet be tired by that knife? In market. There's the op. One market and one deep. Remember what I said where when you reveal the op, it can be really good to just hit that site? That's because in addition to the ops like sucking at this spam, op players are light on their feet. They're very insecure about playing retake. And here we can see. They just came over here. And there's the op. Yeah, so you should have said care op. Your, your smoke. I will smoke CT. When I Jet will gets smoke. revealed cat like that. In market. Because Jet's never been cat before. Why is Jet cat? One market and one deep. It's nice. Market closed. I like this. You sort of have to take some space. Yeah, rotate it. Close to me. Lane. I'm walking I guess. I don't believe you. One market and one deep. It's nice. Market closed. You're shooting that guy? Okay, I don't hit it. Close to me. Lane. I don't believe you. I think you turn around even if you see him. I'm walking I guess. Can I come in? Nice. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. One more mark. Okay, where's Salva being now? Yeah, I don't hear him. He's mine, he's mine. Wine, wine, wine. Okay, you are I will wait for him. Give me a sec. So we still be. It's only one. Next okay, okay. Time. I can smoke A, man. You want? No, 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 no. Hmm. Nice. nice. I'll leave the door open. I'm coming short. Planted for short. Well, let me make steps that closer. Okay. Oh, just come to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How principled this piece of shit is. Be short, oh, okay, if he kills you, I could have another flash. He's seven. I'll break the draw. Maybe, maybe staying on it. Maybe you Nice. I don't know. Okay. So the only problem here is if you're both going to double up tree like this, which I'm not sure you anticipated, you want to plant it more like here. Because when Nats jumps down from heaven, he wants to see the guy. And if it's planted here, then you definitely see the guy. Because he has to be out in the open. When Nats jumps down... There they are. If it's defusible over here, it's actually a bit more annoying. It should be blessed. Now. Under, or what? Oh, Bro! Why are we 5A main every single goddamn round against this team that 3 stacks A, 2 stacks B, Omen pushes out goddamn catwalk to throw this flash on us, which means for him to be here right now, what, they've taken all of B main for free because he's not worried at all about this walk up? Why the hell isn't he worried about that? Go wrong for me, no? I bracket. Let's go back to short. I'll go back. Uh, almost. Hey, man. I'm Hold my city. Yeah, this is awkward because we don't have any presence in either of these two. I think we're missing this. Like, everyone going mid almost makes us feel pressured to take space faster than we should because if we don't, there's this non like never ending threat that they've just come behind us. It's Sentinel diff, honestly, but we probably could try to pre-round something to avoid that. Like we still can one three one. Nice. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? Unfortunately, they only get one. Okay, look, losing. What the hell are you getting trash talk? Uh, my contact. No, <laughs> is that an analyst? I don't know who's so Marcus. I'm not big on the EU scene. Streamer? I bet. Analyst could be watching though. You don't know. You don't know faking on us. They're always watching. This guy's breaking our pre rounds. All right, you comfortable piece of shit. Practice time versus chill time. No oh, chat, no oh, DMs, giga sweat. Analysts are watching. Chill time, put it in your title.
<laughs> vibe. <laughs> you need to, you need to, you need to differentiate. Right now, your practice is being like, like, you know, you know, you know that it, the practice right now is not the best. Like you're responding to DMs mid round. You need, you need both. You stream too many hours to practice all of them because this is impossible. This shit burns you out, but you also need to practice. Queuing up Whoa. and vibing Whoa. is not practice. Cool. And you know that. Can you destroy it? Yeah, I cannot. Top right. Me, me, me. Jesus. Nice. I hate yeah, you. Okay, yeah, yeah. My oh shit, we got a main presence. Bro! Yeah, hi, uh, Fnatic? No, we gotta look at other initiators. You guys typing. I Big game. Mean, guys. I don't know who I am. I'm it's so TV. free. Okay, so generally, okay, well, chill. So let's just talk about the nade. Let's just talk about the nade. So the nade's anti-flood, you tell? Totally makes sense. Nine times out of ten. Except right now the context is different. So it turns out that this killjoy was solo anchoring B because you pieces of shit have never hit B, which means you already have it. Like you're being chilling. Doesn't KO fall off too? Yeah, yeah, there you go. So unfortunately, you're already nading. Hope your internet crashes and you don't see this round. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, they're not gonna if they come out right now, it's kind of lit is what I'm trying to say. I almost want them to come out of this smoke because I think we'd be super duper winning. Maybe I'm wrong, but I would like to jiggle lane. I'm definitely more attached to this than the average person. I think in this scenario, if you're doing this, you see them come out and you do this. It's so good because um, this guy first, their attention gets drawn onto you. They start running sight. You've got dude's sight. It's really bad for them. Additionally, anybody like behind them is getting super naded for infinite damage. Yeah, and then you nade and you push your own fucking nade. Like, what the f Why are you contesting space? In the 5v3. You're going to lose a round, aren't you? One for 40. I hit 40. There's one less RR. You just got one less RR. I wanted that RR. How many games do you play a day? Five billion? If you gain one more RR and lose one less RR per game over the course of a hundred games, aren't you like up five trillion RR? Guys, we cooked. We 15? Cooked. That's 15 a RR soup, a day. That's a whole extra win on the table just because you <laughs> wanted to push your own nade for the clip. There's no shot you can super duper sweat 15 games a day. I'm not going to lie. Flashing. Love it. Okay, I, I smoke, I smoke short. Jenny. So jump, you, jump, jump. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can smoke. Okay. Okay, hear me out, Alex. Hear me out. You have you have to let me cook on this one. This Jet always plays top gen. Yeah, she plays contact, top gen, falls back, dashes dice. It's like all she does. It's your eco round anyways. You're already losing. Hear me out. Let me cook. Because not only is this... I, I'm, I'm coaching you in two directions right now. Direction one, when these types of plays hit, you're going on super jar. So like you're getting clipped. You're getting name recognition out there. And direction two, you look so smart. So she always plays top gen. Like, you know this. What if you're like, yo, Nats. Can you smoke a main? We all sneak up into it. I ping top gen and we all shoot top gen. <laughs> and then you all shoot and then you come out. Like imagine, just imagine for one second that that connects. Okay. On your eco round, who gives a shit? It's eco round. Get tricky. Do s call something dumb. Like you're just rushing A. You can call the same pop, but do the smoke first. Take control of your own smoke by just walking into it dry if they're in there. Okay, you probably get a trade. Then you all blast top gen and you flash out. And like, worst case, this happens. You all die. That's already what's happening. It's eco. The, 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 yeah, even like the, even calling that is cool because it's such a dumb play. 
it's such a dumb play. But it shows that you're thinking about the game at a really high level. Like, I don't think anybody calls a play like that unless they're really, really, really trying to sweat their ass off, you know? And then the one in five times your stupid read connects, you clip it, you go viral. Everyone's like, wow, this guy can't go try hard. And attack is just pecking. You need to stop overheating in most plants. Uh, overheating alone. Like, are they, they, there's nothing wrong with overheating and post plant. Like if the, the whole team's doing it, like it's fine. You feel uh, this was a bit different. You overheat alone a lot, which is kind of goofy. It's just numbers advantages. Numbers advantages get dropped way too often. Alone. This is a big one. Like I put it way up here. We'll put it in my notes sheet, I think. So if you're going to bring another VOD, it needs to be from practice mode. Stream your practice time, change the title, like time for my two serious games or whatever, and then back to chill time or whatever. And you're so good at the game, half of more than half your viewers watch you because they want to see high level gameplay. So they will love this. Like this is probably good for business. I'm not, I'm so content pilled and I'm not, I think I'm right.